expensive gun not to be working. Well, thank you for tuning in. My name is Justin. I'm here with shooting the shit. Nor my crazy ass outfit today. I'm just doing something different. We're gonna shoot the shit about my first range trip with the Smith and Wesson Performance Center. And I would show you footage of me firing it, but the gun did not work. I got light primer stripes on my first trip to the range with $1,100. Performance Center, Smith & Wesson. So I've contacted Smith & Wesson, and uh, we'll go from there. Let's talk about it, guys. All right, guys, we're here looking at the Performance Center, and you will see some differences between what the gun's aesthetics are in this video versus what they are in the first video. As you'll see, everything is back to the factory with the wooden grips and the silver um, cylinder release. I had put in the black one on there with some VZ grips. Uh, and the reason I have it back to factory uh, settings is because I'm going to be sending this gun back to Smith & Wesson. And it's a shame because this is such a beautiful, beautiful gun. It was my everyday carry. And, you know, uh, now I'm forced to carry. What I'm doing is uh, just a shield, uh, usually with a 38 Special J-Frame. Um, but you know, I should have an HR357. I paid a lot of money for it. But to be fair, guys, I want to talk about my customer experience with Smith & Wesson. So I just want to show you the gun's changes, what it's looking like now. Uh, now let's talk about what Smith & Wesson told me about this issue. The issue I am facing with this gun is, let me just show you, it's clear, even though it doesn't fire anyway. But my issue is I'm having light primer strikes, so they're not, I don't know if you'll be able to see in there yet. You can see that the firing pin is not coming through. You can normally see that very prevalently right there. Just to compare and show you what a proper one looks like, you're gonna be looking at this gap right here for that little pin. Oh, and this is cleared, my model 66. See how you can see that? That little pin right there? Yeah, that's not coming through on that one. And that's what makes the fire. So definitely need to get that addressed. I mean, this is a badass gun, but I want to be carrying this. Let's talk about the Smith & Wesson customer experience. So, originally I tried to call them and had a difficulty reaching someone who could help me. So I went ahead and filled out a form online to request from their service department. Told them about my issue. Told them I did buy the gun second hand, but as a performance center or really any Smith & Wesson model, that's a high-end gun, I was hoping the warranty would cover it. And to their credit, Smith & Wesson, within one day, sent me a FedEx shipping label. They got to send it out on Monday. Uh, and they said they would cover all the repairs if it is what I already know it is with that light primer strike. So I have to say that even though it was a little hard to get someone on the phone, they were prompt with their emailing and they did the right thing by paying for my shipping to them. I mean, it's a very expensive gun. So if they address the issue, get it back. I'll let you know the return time, keep you guys updated. But I would say B plus on the service in Smith & Wesson. Guys, thank you again so much for tuning in. My name is Justin. I'm here with shooting the shit, getting badass information, trying to spread some knowledge. I really appreciate you watching this. Please tell your friends, subscribe, like this video, do all that good shit, comment. Let me know if you have any questions, send me a message. I'm here to discuss and try to create a community. And I hope you like this content. There'll be more of it. And of course, I'll keep you updated on what goes on with this Model 627. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I'm out. which I think has a lot of potential down the road. So stay tuned. There'll be a lot of great new content. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. I really appreciate your time watching this. It means a lot to me. And uh, hopefully you got something out of this. So thank you.